Welcome to our Wausau School District AmesWeb Early Numeracy Training. In AmesWeb, the math probes used in kindergarten and first grade are called the Tests of Early Numeracy, or the AmesWeb 10. There are four AmesWeb 10 probes. Those include the oral counting measure, the number identification measure, the quantity discrimination measure, and the missing number measure. Each of these areas can be used as a universal screener as well as a progress monitoring tool. The AmesWeb 10 may be administered either with paper and pencil or using browser-based scoring. Each assessment comes with standard administration directions, which we will cover in more detail later in this presentation. As these are standardized measures, it is important to follow the directions explicitly. It is also important that you follow the guidelines for setting up an appropriate testing environment, devoid of distractions, calculators, or other materials that would assist a student in answering. With regard to browser-based scoring, the student will still need a paper copy of the number identification measure, the quantity discrimination measure, and the missing number measure. As the student reads the test on paper and gives oral responses, the instructor simply clicks the student's feedback on the scoring form on the browser screen. The system will then score the test and upload the results automatically. There is a built-in timer and no additional sync of software is required. Three of the AmesWeb 10 probes, the NIM, the QDM, and the MNM, follow the same guidelines for general administration and scoring. Remember to start your stopwatch each time. If the student fails to answer the first problem after three seconds, tell the student to try the next one. If the student does not get any correct within the first five items, please discontinue the task and record a zero, a score of zero. Follow along in the examiner copy, put a slash through any incorrects. The maximum time for each item is three seconds. If a student does not provide an answer within three seconds, please tell the student to try the next one. And at the end of one minute, place a bracket around the last item completed and say stop. Of note, the oral counting measure has some differences which we will describe in detail shortly. The oral counting measure requires students to orally count starting from one as high as they can in one minute. The instructions state, when I st say start, I want you to start counting aloud from one, like this, one, two, three, until I tell you to stop. If you come to a number you do not know, I'll tell, you to, I'll tell it to you. Be sure to do your best counting. Are there any questions? Ready? Start. For the oral counting measure, there are several scoring rules to keep in mind. The examiner copy will come with the above examples to follow for scoring purposes. If a student says the number that comes next in their sequence, score the number as correct. For example, a student says 12, 13, 14. Scoring is 3 correct. If a student repeats a sequence, score the sequence as correct. For example, if a student says 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, Scoring is three correct. And finally, if a student self-corrects, score the number as correct. For example, one, two, three, five. Oh, three, four, five. Scoring is five correct. If a student hesitates with a number for three seconds, tell the student the number and score the number on which the student hesitated as incorrect. You may tell the student only one number during testing. For example, a student says 12, 13, and then hesitates for three seconds. The examiner says 14. Score 14 is incorrect and continue testing. If the student continues to count and comes to 28, 29, and then hesitates again for three seconds, the examiner says stop and discontinues testing. If a student skips a number while counting, score the number as incorrect and continue testing. For example, 6, 7, 9. Score 8 is incorrect and continue testing. For the number identification measure, we require students to orally identify numbers. A kindergarten student will be asked to identify numbers between 1 and 10, and our first grade students will orally identify numbers between 1 and 20. The instructions will state, look at the paper in front of you. It has a number on it. What number is this? 
You would then follow the printed guidelines depending upon whether the student gives a correct or incorrect response at this time. Once you have completed these practice steps, you are then ready to begin the timed administration. At this point, you're ready to begin the assessment, so read the instructions aloud to the student. The paper in front of you has numbers on it. When I say start, I want you to tell me what the numbers are. Start here and go across the page. If you come to a number you don't know, I'll tell you what to do. Are there any questions? Put your finger on the first one. Ready? Start. Once the student begins, you would start timing. The quantity discrimination measure requires students to orally identify the bigger number from a pair of numbers. Again, the kindergarten students will identify bigger numbers from pairs between 1 and 10, while our first grade students will identify bigger numbers from pairs between 1 and 20. The instructions will state, look at the piece of paper in front of you. The box in front of you has two numbers in it. I want you to tell me the number that is bigger. This is when a student obviously is on their practice. Each of these measures when printed has a front and a back where the front is the practice and the back is the actual assessment itself or the probe itself. You would then follow the printed guidelines depending on whether the student gives a correct or incorrect response at this time. Once you've completed these practice steps, you are then ready to begin the timed administration. The instructions state, the paper in front of you has boxes in it, and the boxes are two numbers. When I say start, I want you to tell me the number in the box that is bigger. Start here and go across the page. If you come to a box and you don't know which number is bigger, I'll tell you what to do. Are there any questions? Put your finger on the first one. Ready? Start. Again, once the student begins, you would then start timing for one minute. The missing number measure requires students to orally identify the missing number from a set of three numbers. As, as per the other assessments, kindergarten students will identify missing numbers between 1 and 10, and first grade students will be, and identify missing numbers between 1 and 20. The instructions will state, the box in front of you has two numbers in it. Point to the first box. I want you to tell me the number that goes in the blank. What number goes in the blank? You would then follow the printed guidelines depending upon whether the student gives a correct or incorrect response at this time. Once you've completed these practice steps, you are ready to begin the timed administration. The instructions for the actual administration would say, the piece of paper in front of you has boxes with numbers in them. When I say start, you are going to tell me the number that goes in the blank for each box. Start with the first box and go across the row. Then go to the next row. If you come to one you do not know, I'll tell you what to do. Are there any questions? Put your finger on the first one. Ready, start. Once the student begins, you would start timing for one minute. This slide summarizes the new math assessments required at KN1 beginning in January of 2014. That concludes our AmesWeb 10 Early Numeracy training. Thank you very much for your time.